Hey, it's Turtle Man. You know me. Uh, <clears throat> we had a little rain last night. Settled the dust pretty good. Uh, I had started doing some work with the Bobcat yesterday down behind the barn. I know y'all seen previous videos um, where I was clearing out behind the barn. Well, it's a pretty nice day. Uh, weather report, slightly cloudy. Uh, low 80s. Humidity's not too bad. But we got some rain coming this afternoon. They're talking about an inch, a little over an inch of rain. So I figured I'd get out here and finish up what I started. We're going to get in old girl and take a ride down there and let y'all see what I've done. Um, only took me about an hour and a half yesterday. And I'm going. I'm too big to be in this thing. Oh, about an hour and a half or so yesterday. Um, anyway, we'll take a ride down there and see what she do. So yeah, look at my gauges. I hope that wasn't too bumpy for you. So you've seen the video where I cleaned out this little tree line right here. I still ain't got that T-post up, but it's turned out pretty nice. All the stuff that I had cleared up, I had piled up behind the barn. I got all it moved. Um, I'm gonna leave this tree, it's right on the fence. I'll have to trim it back a little bit. Cooper, we're not hunting, son. Um, got the rest of the little trees off the fence. There was, uh, I don't know, five or six of them right down the fence row. This is my neighbor's place. I really need to get her bush hogged. Um, probably do that towards the end of September. It needs to be done something bad. It was way worse than that last year. But anyway, I got the rest of the little trees up. I still got stumps to dig. Got little twigs and crap everywhere. Um, man, this is some really good dirt. Uh, but I got all the garbage out from behind the barn. Um, God, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with my burn pile. She's getting awful big. Um, it's much cleaner down through here. See, I still got stuff laying on the ground I need to get up. But I figured while it ain't too gum hot... And before it rains, I'd uh, get some stuff cleaned out. The fence is growing into that tree, so I ain't going to touch it. Uh, hope I didn't wound it too bad. Um, man, I got a bunch of stuff cleared out. I sure do love that little bobcat. That was a that was a good investment. I love that little machine. She's, uh, she's old and still needs a little work, but she's pretty dang solid. Uh, got all the hydraulic leaks done. I got the left front axle seal. Really needs to be done. Uh, 
if I ain't using it hard, you don't see it leak. When I get in here and start digging real hard, she starts pouring oil. Um, so far, a good little machine. Uh, I still got, you know, all this garbage I need to get out of here. Um, but I got it a hell of a lot cleaner down through here. Nope. One of them went over the fence. We'll just grab that dude. Uh, and uh, y'all remember the video I cut that tree down. So I made me a little pass down through here. And God, my burn pile's getting huge. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't think I can burn it. I may have to chop it up and do it a little bit at a time. Usually I just pick up sticks out of the yard and burn them, but uh, she's getting kind of big. She's over my head. I'm six foot one. It's probably seven foot tall and uh, uh, I don't know, 25 foot around or so. I mean, she's a pretty big old pile. All kinds of junk in it. Old Chevrolet grill that was in my barn. I only own one Chevy and it don't take that grill. And I ripped a closet out of my front bedroom. Make my old lady a, a, an office space. So I just got done. I got, got to finish mud and it. New drywall up. That's quite a burn pile. Yeah, that's a... Uh, it's going to have to be cold outside and kind of wet for me to light that. And I hope she don't catch none of these trees because it's going to be big. But anyway, the the clearing out behind the barn is coming along pretty nice. Uh, after I get done with it, I'm going to, this little fence row right here, I'm going to clear all it out. I may take down that fence right there. The guy that had this place before me had horses. And there's just random pieces of fencing everywhere. I don't I don't exactly know how he had horses in here, but I, there's a piece of chicken wire that runs down through here and it's got barbed wire in it. You can see that piece right there. But I want to clear all this out clean up some of this shit that was left behind. I don't know what these big rocks are and a sink and, but now I can get to the back side of my barn and start working on it. Uh, the tin that's on it is pretty crappy. Um, the roof is terrible. She just needs some work. It's probably going to be a while before I get to work on it, but you can see parts of the roof are starting to bend up. Then that section at the end. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I ain't had nothing this morning, don't worry about it. That 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 that's that's crap. Needs to be done with. Um that this section of the barn from about here down is a little room where I keep my inventory. I'll probably I'll throw a bunch of this crap away and I accidentally got it with the box blade a while back on the tractor but uh yeah but this little room's got a bunch of junk in it of course i got axles and my hunting tires and dog kennels and disc brake conversions and i got a little bit of everything cummins parts spare wheels old bumper off my forerunner but this roof is crap um, a tree fell on it when I first got here, and you can see it destroyed most of the the rafters in here, and it needs to be dealt with. Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's not any good. This needs to be dealt with kind of soon. Oh, and we've got some wasp in here. I better get out. Oh, but anyway, there's the update on the land clearing she looks pretty daggum good i got a this is a crepe myrtle stump and if anybody's ever dealt with a crepe myrtle you know the stumps are the biggest bears in the world to get up out of the ground they've got a nasty root ball on them well hell most of them videos you see people tie a truck to them they end up 
pulling the bumper off or something like that. Most of those are crepe myrtles. So I think that dude's just gonna have to rot. I may drill some holes in it, pour some diesel fuel down it and light her up. Uh, but most of the little stuff I got out of here is looking pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So anyway, fellas, rain's supposed to be here, I don't know, one, two o'clock this afternoon. Um, I'm done with the old Bob Kitty for the day, so I'm going to put her up. Um, I got a set of gears I need to build for a buddy of mine. I've had them for way too long. Oh, man, she looks good back here. I'm really digging it. Now I think I ought to plant some trees right on this fence row because uh, this is west and most of the storms we have in have come through come from the west. So now they've got a straight line to my barn. You know, before I had all these trees that would kind of calm it down before it hit the barn, but now it's got a straight shot. So I wonder if I ought to put up some plant some trees right on the fence row to make me a little uh i don't know like a windbreak kind of deal but i definitely want to get these out of here i hate gum trees they're awful uh those need to go uh see i think every single one of them's a gum yeah it is except for that little tiny one right there but those need to go anyway boys i'm gonna finish putting my stuff up Got done what I need to do before the rain comes. And uh, I'm going to go build a set of gears. Anyway, we, uh, we'll holler at y'all later.